Okay, let's see. Audio seems good. Uh, good bitrate, no drop frames. Let me switch this to live chat. Switch this to live chat. Switch this to this. Okay, we got Game Master Tim Holm saying happy Wednesday. Hey, Tim, how are you? We got uh, Tim Rutledge uh, saying, JC, hello, Tim. How are you? Um, Stream Elements bot is running. Good, good. That's good. It is time to go to the edge of reality once more because, you know, it's been a hard week. It's been a hard week. Lots of work, lots of madness, you know, narrowly escaping just the apocalypse. So I guess it's time to go to a game where we can actually prevent a little bit of the apocalypse. So, without further ado, let's jump back into Doctor Who The Edge of Reality. So let me just click over here. No, no, I don't want to start a new game. I want to continue the game. If you remember, this is like the business as usual. Something weird is happening, all the universe is at stake. There's like this reality virus that is corrupting reality. And we are the doctor. We have this thing. The sonic screwdriver. Eyes on the prize, eh? Don't yeah. forget we're trying to locate Manfred Grail's house. Well, also we got now a sassy AI in our head, you know? Uh, her, I don't remember her name, but we're going to call her like Gladys. Okay, so we, we are like in Victorian London, it seems, and we needed to do something here, but I don't remember what. So we're most likely going to just walk around using our uh, uh, sonic screwdriver, trying to screwdrive something. Oh, look at this. There's a thing over here. We need something to open that gate. It looks like it's rusted shut. I'm using the sonic screwdriver, and it worked. Oh, look at this. There's a thing over here. Stories about the Cyber Reaper. Ghost stories. Legends. Warnings. Innuendos. It never stops upgrading itself. Using parts from other Cybermen. It is literally the best of the best. Or should that be the worst of the worst? I don't know. I am not proficient in the Cybermen lore. Let me just move this a little bit over here. This camera keeps moving around, you know, it's like it's, uh, it's a little bit haunted. Who knows? Um, okay, so... There's a thing over here. That's definitely one of your journals of improbable things. Awesome. This here is the journal of improbable things. It's a journal that collects, you know, improbable things. So, what do we have in terms of improbable things? The Cyber Reaper origin. One legend suggests that the Cyber Reaper was born at the end of the last great cyber war. The power of Christ compels your camera, says Tim. Yes, yes, because it's just, it goes like this, you know? On the smoking blood-drenched fields of Reisenbach, broken bodies of Cybermen lay besides human corpses. No one knows quite how, but parts of the shattered cyber bodies reassembled as one figure, as it amalgamated and brought to life through sheer strength of will and resolve for revenge. That's weird. That's the, uh, the Cyber Reaper. We get the Daleks. Oh, sorry, it's in the other direction. The Daleks, we got the Lucia Minor, which is like the ship we were exploring during the last um, episode. We got the Miniscopes, which is a thing that, that is, in, is in the TARDIS for seeing the collectibles. We got the Sonic Screwdriver, which is basically our magic wand. We got the TARDIS, which is like the, the, the all powerful time traveling ship. We got the Engineer's Story, which is just uh, the bullcrap. We got the Pod. Which is a thing, I don't know. We got the reality virus, which is like the, the, the current threat. We got the time lords, which go around jumping through time. Victorian London. This is weird. Okay, 
Okay, you're in Victorian London, the 1890s, I think, courtesy of the TARDIS. When I first arrived, in other words, when you first arrived, I, you, wonder, because this thing is supposed that written by us, you know, but for in a different time period. Wonder why it was quiet. It's down to the effects of the reality virus. So although the streets that you see would once have been teeming with life, it now looks dead. It has nothing to do with, you know, like programming resources and programming NPCs. Hey, Paul, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Let's hope that we can reverse that. Yes, it's Zyton, which is like the, the, the time crystals. That's all the contents of our uh, journal of improbable things. You see, you can stop this later on and you can read it at your leisure. Okay, so what do we have over here? We got like a... Oh, look at this. Nothing. Time and relative dimension in space. Yes. Also, uh, plot armor or something. I don't know. Okay, there's a... Uh, I don't know if this is important, but there's smoke coming from that. So there might be something over there. So, <clears throat> of course, we're going in this direction. Oh, look at this. The Cyber Reaper. Uh Punk ass cyber reaper did not want to face my almighty uh, light glow stick. Okay, can we enter this? No. So nothing there. I guess we go in this direction. You know I think it's around here somewhere. Okay, good. Uh, we got this sassy oh, AI wait. in our we found it in our head. We rescued her from the wreckage of that ship I talked about, and now this is what's trying to you know like uh, guide us. Also, well, trying to get caught up on La Brea before I saw the stream was live. Are, are the La Brea tar pits? Were you like hunting for dinosaurs or something like that? It's kind of weird. Okay, we got this. Sir Manfred Grail, collector of objets d'art. Posh way of saying he's a hoarder when it comes to knickknacks. Yes. So you see, apparently they could not get like the 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 actress who plays the doctor to voice the entire thing. So they went with like this lady because the other the the Jodie Whittaker Whittaker was kind of uh, expensive apparently, you know, in terms of. Recording time. So they went with this actors, these voice actors instead. I look at this, an elephant. And over here we got the windmill. And over here we got like a bird. And there's a candle. We cannot go over here because this chair over here, completely impassable. Absolutely impossible to move. It is a fixed point in time and space. Oh, look at this. Sarcophagus. Can we pick? Oh, we picked it up! Good stuff. That's another item for the mining miniscope. Interesting. We just picked up a sarcophagus. We're just walking around with like a sarcophagus over our shoulder. Okay, some weird shenanigans happened here. Oh, look at this. It appears to be modeled for an engine? British Patent Office. Interesting. Also, it's kind of, yes, it's where the laboratory pits are. These people fall through a massive hole that opens up and they fall through. They end up 10,000 years ago. It's kind of like the show Lost. Oh, and wh where is that show available? It's like on, on Netflix? Hulu? Yeah. Banana Rama, if that is such a th there is such a thing. Disney Plus. Oh, I need to watch uh, these uh, episodes uh, of um, you know She-Hulk. Hey, there's a there's fire over there. Hey, Hannibal, how are you? How long are you going to stream? Time in Finland, one o nine. We're going to stream probably for like an hour and a half. 
How do you reckon you get it to play? It's an NBC system. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I, I get NBC, but the, the news, you know. In and don't worry, Hannibal, in case you fall asleep, you remember the stream is going to be available in, in its entirety as soon as YouTube is done processing. Two seasons, yeah. Oh, cool. Pick up object. We picked up a thing. I don't know what the hell. Okay, I'm gonna use the flashlight. It looks like a couple of the pieces are missing. What? Okay, it looks like a couple of the pieces are missing, so. Oh look at this, we got a we got now a skull. I'm trying to see if there's anything here that's like a bone. The bone connects to the skull. The skull connects to the foot. The foot connects to the arm. And then you got an abomination against God and humanity. Hannibal says, no worries, I'm so stoned at the moment. Oh, thinking this I hope you pay extra, you know, reason. the Wii you pay extra. You I know sound think... for those machines was stored on wax cylinders. Search the room. Maybe you can find one. Okay. I think I have, let me see. Uh, what is this that we have here? We got a skull, skull, skull. Hannibal says, I sell. Oh, okay. Remember, you gotta pay extra. Okay, where is the... Is this like a... No. Cannot pick object. Your inventory is full. Okay. So... There must be a lever thingy to wind the phonograph up somewhere around here. I got a skull of a bird. That good enough? No? Well, I guess... Oh, I can I can throw things. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We can throw this. We can throw the bone. We can throw this thing. We can throw this. Oh, come on. Okay. So, we're looking for a lever. There's all kinds of cool gizmos in here. Check out that old cylinder phonograph. By the I window. know Gladys. How do you reckon you get it to play? We turn uh, crank it. We crank it. Uh, we need maybe like a cylinder. Interact. Come on, open. Not opening. Not opening. What is this? A base. Uh, I broke it. Sorry. Long time. It looks okay. Like a couple of the pieces are missing. Yes, I know. I'm looking for the damn cylinder. What is this? Load on them? Oh, look at this. Here's the cylinder. A perfect fit. Yes. Wind it up and let's see if it still works. Okay. Good evening, my friend. Hello. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of I wealth am Sir and Manfred taste. I'm Alfred Grail, collector of objets d'art and singular ephemera. I know who you are. And your companion, Emma. Oh, that Gladys. You? It shouldn't. You have invaded my home before. Many times. Sorry. I'm aware you seek the cabinet of Magnus Grail and the crystal within. You've done well to get this far, mon comrade de guerre. You are brave and resourceful. And so I'll give you one piece of crucial information and a warning. Thank you. Although why I should is beyond me, as I cannot hope to profit from it. But this is vital. If you are to reach the cabinet, you must... Of course. And it happened. But this is vital. Uh. If you are to reach the cabinet, you must. Special lift. Learn its mysteries, and it will take you to the crypts below my home. Here you will find the cabinet and the time crystal which it holds. 
your prize. <laughs> but every prize must have its perils. <laughs> Where would be the fun if it was as easy as simply finding the cabinet? No, no, no. That wouldn't do at all. It is protected. That warning I promised you. Oh, crap. The cabinet is guarded by my angels. Stone they angels, you know, weeping angels. The changes. They may no longer be my angels. I fear they are coming. And will destroy me as they will surely destroy you too, my friend. My final warning. Whatever you do, don't... No. No. No! Hey, human blaze the cat. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Manfred, big fat boy, but angels still hungry. Angels oh, crap. still hungry. Angels feast on you. Angels feast on you. Angels eat you. We're no. coming to get you. No, no, no. We're coming to get you. Try baby bunting. Doctor's friends have gone a hunting. On to fetch the precious stones. No. But the angels. Eat your bones. No. You know what it's, the scary thing is? The angels. The voices aren't coming from the phonograph anymore. Yes, Hammer, I Do know. Do me a favor. Give that crank on the phonograph another spin. And let's see what this room will look like when we've left. Okay, I guess we got angels. Come on, please, the guy says, sorry I was late. No, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Thing. Well, we've got a swanky new room to explore. Hop to it. I'm hoping. We got the swanky room. I brought up about that. Uh, give the show ten minutes. If you're not so well, you don't like it. Oh, the 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 one with the like the the tar. I wonder if there might bits. be something helpful which isn't here yet. I don't know. You're supposed to give me the hints. Let's see what we got in the Journal of Improbable Things. If we got something new, we should have gotten an entrance on the Weeping Angels. Hey, no. Check out the cylinder phonograph. Try winding it up. Yeah, Gladys. The time cabinet of Magnus Greel. Hmm. A rubbish tan machine. Try this. One trip could trigger a devastating implosion that leave the pilot dead or mutated. It can only be opened and activated using a time key. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Let me see around here what is it that we have. Hey, check out the cylinder phonograph. Gladys. Try winding it up. I'm trying to get the things, you know, the knowledge. This is like a, we got a lot of people over here. I don't know. There's like horsey over here. Got like an Egyptian drawing over here. Okay, let's just give it a wheel. We're jumping between time periods, I guess. Look at that huge painting above the fireplace. It's yuck. Bugs. Yes, it's bug. It's uh, the, 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 the life cycle of a Stella. It appears to be a, a a fly of some sort. Okay. So let me see if we got something in the journal of improbable things. Oh, look at this, Sir Manfred's Grail, a collector. Some of these fancy books match the bugs in the painting above the fireplace. Yes, they do. Let's see, we got uh, an elephant over there. I, uh, the, 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 the paintings. Fancy books. Okay. Do you see any books that match the, fin the fancy paintings? Uh, I don't. Let's see back here. No, cannot when go I was back. When rummaging through the TARDIS database, I read about an ancient collection of enchanted books. Okay. 
that could only be activated by fire. You don't suppose these books could be from that collection, do you? Well, Gladys, I, or, or Emma, or whatever your name is, I don't see any books that match the fancy paintings above the thing, you know? And we go to the other time period. No, we can't. Uh, so, I'm seeing just pictures. I hate to ask, but you may need to start burning some of these books. Yeah, that was that that is not what the subtitles said. I'm gonna start using the sonic screwdriver, see if it, something pops up. No. No. Interact. Interlopers! No. Okay, let's be rational about this. Do you see any? Maybe the books need to be burnt in a certain order. Gladys, I, 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 I see the books, you know. So we got a, we got an issue with these books. Just throwing stuff around. Do you see any books that look like fancy matching these things? Like we need to find books, for instance, like this book, then that book, and then this book. But the, 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 the problem is I'm not seeing the book. Uh, human I would go into my health, but it's happy time to be that in stream. Be the moon it. needs to be Place raised. The books in the same order as the stages of the life cycle of the firefly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul has some, some, some issues, you know. He's, he's gonna have to, like, fight those things. No, no, no. You got an issue here, because... Just... I don't see the books which we're supposed to use. Hey, Jason. How are you? Welcome to the stream. We're currently looking for books. Some of these fancy books match the bugs in the painting above the fireplace. What, what fancy books? Anybody sees fancy books that match the pictures above the fireplace? Apparently, there's a fancy book around here that has stuff i'm not seeing any fancy books that i can pick up you know i'm walking around okay i'm gonna pick up everything i can pick up everything i can pick up no i don't see anything here there's nothing when i was rummaging through the tardis database i read about an ancient collection of enchanted books that could only be activated by fire you don't suppose these books could be from that collection, do you? Well, I don't see any books. Yeah, m more who? Okay, let's look at the at the at the at the floor. In case there's a, like a fancy book here. Uh, like, is this a fancy book? No, I cannot pick any of this. Let me use the sonic screwdriver. I hate to ask, but you may need to start burning some of these books. If I if I was able to get said books, I will burn them without any hesitation. Trust me. Problem at this particular juncture is that hey, we got an achievement hero of time. Most likely because I just started destroying the, like, the pots, like, Link. That's a cool achievement. Okay, I'm gonna throw this thing. Maybe the books need to be burnt in a certain order. Gladys, which books? Do you see any freaking books? There's a couple of, uh... Yeah, who, what, where, how... And sometimes why you know where is um what was the name uh the lady in guardians of the galaxy where is gamora who is gamora why is gamora the painting that must be it 
Place the books in the same order as the stages of the life cycle of the firefly. Okay, now now she's giving me like it's saying me place the books in the same uh, as the life of the what books? Do you see a book? Okay, now this opened, but there is nothing there. You see, I'm trying to interact with this, and it, it ain't Some working. Of these fancy books match the bugs in the painting above the fireplace. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the other time period, if if possible. Now I cannot move over there. There's like an invisible thing here. Okay, now here we are. When I was rummaging through the TARDIS database, I read about an ancient collection of enchanted books. Now we got the books. That could only be activated by fire. I was talking about bowels. You don't suppose these books oh, could be from nice. the collection, do you? Yes, now... Oh, look at this. Another uh, journal of improbable things. Okay, now I can see the books. The books were in this time period. And I was just rummaging around in the other time period like a jackass. Okay, examine. This one has like the, 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 the caterpillar thing. This one has the leaf. I hate to ask, but you may need to start burning some of these books. Yes, I'm going to burn this one first. Look at that flame. I think we're on the right track. Yes, now then we're going to burn this one. Okay, and the next one. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, which one is this one? This one, which is a Pokemon. Sorry, Grail. It's for the good of the universe. And now this one. Whoa. I do not expect that. Let's follow it. It's a, like a firefly. Okay, where are you going? Oh! What a creepy painting. Free me. Use the flames. Okay, this thing is haunted. Uh, what flames? How can I free you? Use the flames. Can I get like a. A torch here? Who would put candle holders next to an oil painting? That's literally asking for flame in trouble. Yeah, it was a, it was a little bit, um, you know, like, weird, Jason. I, I, I have no freaking clue as to what the hell. Okay, so... Candles next to an oil painting. Do we use the... I don't know, I'm gonna use this. Okay, this is not working. The painting, there was like a lady here, you know? This, uh, team says, I'm all about the wheel. Yes. Hey, Justin, how are you? We're trying to figure out how to... I wanna use the black light. Everything is good. How do I light these things on fire? Do you see any candles? No candle here. We're looking for candles. No candle here. Oh, look at this. A candle. Nice. Now we place this over here. not working so maybe the sonic screwdriver nope set me free flames are key i know lady i'm trying to set you free even though you seem to be haunted i'm thinking we listen to the demon painting 
before she gets annoyed. But I put the freaking candle over here. Are there more candles? Okay, we got another candle over here. Bring me home into the light. Ah, no. Doing good, not ready for winter, already getting cold in the mountains of Tennessee. Well, over here. Someone just. Hello? It. Hello? Oh, there's another candle over here. Nice. Okay, here we go. <laughs> ah, crap! That really was not nice at all. Goes from the past. A key? Wait a second. The insignia matches the lock on the base of that phonograph. Okay. This is a weeping angel. And look at this. He was reaching out for us. I'm thinking this actually might be the thumbnail of the video. Like this one, you see? Right there. Thumbnail. Right there. Because we are dealing with weeping angels. Remember, do not blink. I'm gonna take, take a look at over here. Oh, look at this. Another journal of improbable things. And what is this? It's a thing. I don't know. Okay, let's check the Journal of Improbable Things. Cyber Reaper, Daleks, Lucia Minor, Miniscopes, Sir Manfred's Grail, the Sonic Screwdriver, the TARDIS, the Engineer's Story, the Pod, the Reality Virus, the Time Cabinet of Magnus Grill, Time Lords, Trionic Lattices. Wow, that's weird. Victorian London, the Weeping Angels. They usually look like stone statues, but they are ruthless killers. Three things to bear in mind regarding these lonely assassins. One, they're fast. Two, some weird defense mechanism means they turn to stone when they're being observed. Three, don't blink. And I'm thinking that's going to be the, like the title of this uh, stream. Don't blink. Okay, so, we're up Weeping Angels, people. Got something. You found it. Well played, Sherlock. You have in your hand a trionic lattice, also known as a time key. Okay. Put it in your pocket for now. I reckon it will come in handy later on. We got a time key. I guess we're getting in that. How about you leave me in the TARDIS for this one? No? No, Gladys. Here we go. This is so weird, yeah? This game is weird. Torch would be uh. useful. Black light setting. Obvs. You've Obvs. got to get the crystal from the time cabinet, which will mean avoiding the angels. Oh, crap. I can then try to contact the doctor using the crystal's special properties. See if she can get the TARDIS to materialize down here. Hey, you can do this. Like I said, apparently they ran out of a budget for having, uh, you know, Joy Whitaker voice this. So we got this other voice actor. We're going uh, against weeping angels, people. These things are nasty. According to the TARDIS database, Weeping angels have a unique self-defense mechanism. Long story short, keep them in sight and we should be okay. Yeah, it has to be with some sort of quantum lock thing, you know? When you're observing them, they cannot move- Oh, crap! We got weeping angels. If you're observing them, they cannot move. <laughs> oh. You scared the crap out of me, lady. You know, if you remember, 
in Madison, there was Batman Statue Lady. I'm guessing she was a weeping angel. Okay, can you move? Oh! Jesus Christ. Stupid weeping angel. Could be, says Jason. Uh, Jason. Look out for those angels. In fact, don't blink. Don't take your eyes off them. I'm, I'm trying. We're full of, there's full of weeping angels over here. Where the hell are we going? Who? Okay, this, this part is a little bit scary. I will admit that. Mostly because the weeping... Damn weeping angels have always scared the crap out of me. Can I use my my sonic screwdriver to just bash this thing? Pick up object? What is it that I can pick up here? Oh crap! There's two of them now. Look at that. Would they be smart enough not to be fooled if you wore fake eyes on the back of your head? Uh, I don't know. Jesus Christ. Notice that the Madison uh, title name in the game was broken up to Madson with the eye in the middle of a picture in between. Madson. Oh, Madson eye. Yeah, you might be right. You might be right. That seems... Possible. Okay, are these two gonna fight each other? That's weird. Okay, I'm a bit confused. You notice as they are finished the game. Hmm? Matt, son, Madison, yeah. Okay, we're supposed to be looking for some sort of uh, vault thing. Where the time crystal is supposed to be high, uh, hidden. But the only thing we're finding are the stupid weeping angels. Well, there's another one over here. Yeah, nothing here. painting gave us the key it wasn't helping us it wanted us down here so we'd have to face these angels yeah i don't know Hmm. 
Great day to hear the doctor's new herb range has won award. He is a time lord. What? H hashtag pun? Is that a sit and spin? What, these things? I don't know. Okay, don't follow me, you stupid weeping angel. That thing is moving over there. Just a vase. Yeah, it's just a vase. Okay, this area is not structurally sound. Also, I don't know what the hell. Look at this. What in the hell? You know? What the f I hear a baby crying. Can you hear the baby crying? Another weeping angel. Looks like the bike from the twins in the shining. You freaking weeping angel! This thing scared the crap out of me. Just, you know, possible alternate thumbnails. Don't do that! Okay, where are we supposed to go? Because that's not the correct... Stay there. Okay. Another weeping angel over here. Two more. You'd better get a move on. I can sense things moving around in the crypt. Let's find the time cabinet and get out of here. I, I, I'm trying, you know, but there's there's whis whispers and babies and, and weeping angels all over the place. Also, I don't know what the hell is this. No. And you know, this is a port for a VR game. This in VR, you would your pants with this in VR. I am a little bit scared right now playing like this. And then in VR. I knew I should have stayed in the TARDIS. Shut up, Gladys. Or Emma, or whatever your name is. We got another one over there. How do we do this? Here's the thing. Apply. It's the time crystal. Grab it before the angels decide you're a threat. It just got really cold in here. We're not alone. Oh, uh, hoot scream, yes. Ah, oh, crap, ah, oh, crap. Oh. 
Oh crap, oh crap. Make a run for it. There it is. There it is. Oof. There it is. Okay, close close the freaking door. Oof. I'm back. <sighs> back. Things got pretty hectic back there. Yeah. We make quite a good team, don't we? Yeah. What took you so long? While you've been sightseeing and taking it easy, I've been doing the donkey work and finding out what's behind the reality virus. Doctor, the word. First, though, I can detect a force is trying to fix us in a tractor beam. I'm not having that. I'm going to remote pilot the TARDIS away from Earth. Back in a tick. And you might want to find something to hang on to. Okay, pull the activation lever and let's go. Okay, they were. They were, they were like weeping angels and. Okay. Is this the activation lever? Okay. No, it's this one. How much downtime do you need? We've got a cosmos to save. Ah, uh, shut up. I maintain that this TARDIS operation thing here is kind of dirty. Someone missed the symbolism, you know? But this is a family show. Okay, what do I do now? Am I supposed Nicely to... Nicely done! We've landed on... Let me see... Metabilis 4. Metabilis 4. It's better than Metabilis 3, but nowhere near as good as Metabilis 1 or 2. They were great. Yes. I told you I've been tracking down what was behind the reality virus. Okay. Now I know, and it's not good news. But if you're risking your life to help me, I think you deserve to know the truth. Okay. Emma, maybe you can generate some images to go along with what I'm telling you. Oh, like a PowerPoint right presentation. Billions of millennia ago, when the universe was fragile and new, planets formed and stars began to burn. And at okay. some point, no one really knows when, the very first sentient life form in all of creation was born. Or maybe I should say, she began to exist. The universe's first creature with conscious awareness was, by definition, all alone in the world. This one. She spawned more of her own species, nurtured them. She was the very first mother. The cosmos expanded. Planets and stars became vast galaxies, and life spread throughout countless systems, throughout centuries. And that first sentient being, let's call her the first. Well, she slept for billions of years. But as the prototype for all consciousness, the first had design faults, teething problems, the most serious of which was very obvious. But she didn't know how to die. Oh. When she was revived, she looked on in absolute horror at what her children had turned into. Their warfare and cruelty and brutality all appalled her. She felt duty-bound to right these wrongs. She was compelled to destroy her creations. To eradicate all sentient life. To return the universe to how it had been when she gazed across the first horizons. To atone. The first has evolved into a super intelligent but very damaged figure. She's experienced many forms over the years, but now I believe she's humanoid. She sees herself as simply escalating a process that species right across the universe are already hell bent upon. She's nurturing conflict and chaos and destruction so she can end their plight and begin anew. She's not a god and she's not evil. She wants redemption. She wants another chance. She wants children who love her and each other. And we, well, we have to stop her. So that's who's behind the reality virus. That's who we're up against. The mother that's of all creation, you know? We're close, though. Get hold of the final time crystal, and the TARDIS can get all three of them to me, so I can get back to where I should be, and, you know, save the universe. It's what I do best. Yes. I just want to warn you, though. The TARDIS has sensed the first is near. The danger's never been greater. Be careful. Paul well, says, what's the technical term for the doctor meeting another incarnation of himself? A time of pair traveling off ducks. Look at this place. Hey, I don't want to be that guy. 
Hey, friendly boys. How are you? The sand that blow across the surface of this planet is somehow blocking my Zarto movements. That means you're going to have to find the last hunt crystal old school. Okay, sound balance was not very good there. That's not what the subtitle said. Yeah, it's a good planet, you know? Okay, can I pick this up? What is this? Oh, a thing for the scope. The local archives. And this that's it. Keep doing that. I think it's working. Get on so. This is the temple of the first. Okay, there's a thing going up. It's not going to be that easy. You see, not that easy. Right. I may have spoken too soon. Yep. Hey, at least it can't get any worse. It can get worse. There's probably going to be some monsters and Interact with this. Oh, what? That's a Dalek. I thought this place was meant to be serene and peaceful. There's a Dalek here. Another page of the Book of Awesome. I picked up an object. I picked up another object. I picked up another object. Shh, don't be too loud. Daleks can detect even the slightest sound. And we really need to get past this one and through that door. I know, I know. We're going to use the things that I got. We'll get too close. They'll attack like there's no tomorrow. Look at this, Dalek technology. Die, there may not be a tomorrow. Hmm. Okay, so. Hey, Leila. How are you? Welcome to the stream. We are playing Doctor Who, Standing the Edge of Reality. We need to distract it somehow. I already distracted the stupid Dalek. How do I open this? There. It won't open. That was a close one. Okay. I've tapped into the TARDIS database. And you know I said things couldn't get any worse? Yeah, well, I was wrong. Remember that time glitch? Well, now we're in a future where the Daleks invaded the planet. They're trying to work out how to harness the power of the time crystals. The more immediate problem, I'm picking up signals from a bunch of Daleks. Well, we got Daleks. All pretty close to where we are now. Yeah, you stick a plunger to your head and pretend. You go, destroy, stay destroy. And, and stay out of their sight. Exterminate the thing. This looks like a Dalek, Dalek head, you know? Okay, how do I open this? Dalek command reports that Earth has fallen. Our empire stretches from Skaro to New Spyridon. We are jackasses. We must reign supreme. The Dalek empire must be universal. The new power source will unlock total dominion for the Daleks. Reports indicate the presence of temporal anomalies. Explain. Sensors detect disturbances in the fabric of time and space. Reality is being dislocated. Anomalies must not distract us from our destiny. There is only one reality. Yeah, I need to put like the head, you know? Correct. Correct. 
an incorruptible reality. Daleks are the one pure race. All other species must be exterminated. Daleks rule supreme. All other life forms will be exterminated. Exterminate! Daleks rule supreme! Yeah, these guys, I, I kind of high, high strong, you know? Okay, can we open these things or we were just supposed to like listen to those, those jackasses? Uh, anything over here? Can I use this? Okay, that's locked. Pick that up. Okay, there was an interact prompt. Why is this not interacting now? There it is. I saw it like over here. Come on, interact! Damn it. Yeah, or maybe they need to lay off the crack cocaine because they're going rah, rah, rah. Okay, this is not okay. This there it is. That thing is a little bit bugged, you know. Okay, we were just listening to those jackass. Cyber Reaper. Cyber Reaper, right here. Yeah, you're such a jackass, bro. Oh. Over there. You stupid walking. Oh, there's a bunch of these the trash cans. Okay, where am I supposed to go? To get that door open. Which? What door? Daleks patrols in progress. All rebels will be look unsanctioned. Intruder detected. Identify oh, yourself. You, you need to get it to move. Yeah, I'm trying. Daleks patrols in progress. All rebels will be look unsanctioned. Activity in temple. Investigate. Investigate. Unscanned intruder detected. Identify yourself. Okay. Shut up. Wow. That was intense. Yeah. Can you imagine what it's like to be the doctor and do this kind of stuff Oof. all the time? Yeah. Me, Those are to be two full siblings. Over killer aliens any day of the week. Okay. So we're here. There's like energy going to this temple somehow. Okay. For some reason, the subtitles are now stuck. And Gladys was saying, "Are there?" Let's do this. What? The human is using Dalek casing as subterfuge. Okay, I am inside a Dalek casing apparently. I don't know how, but I got inside the Dalek casing. There's plenty more target practice coming up. Blast us through those doors. What door? This one? This one? Jackass is coming! 
I am out of ammo. I have ammo again. I am shooting the jackasses. Jackasses detected. Just like Clara, yes. Catastrophic damage. I have failed. I have. You are a jackass. We can destroy those Dalek energy blocks before they reach us. I did it. My vision is impaired. I cannot see. Traitors immobilized. The Daleks will take vengeance for your brutality. Ah, crap. Destroy it, and your hand will be broken. Power left over 9,000. It's over 9,000. That was a Dragon Ball Z reference. The Impossible Girl. Yes, exactly. Doctor Who companions. I'm shooting at the thing. I will mess you up. I am taking some damage. It is dead in your face. JC made bad joke, exterminate, exterminate. I don't know why I'm talking like a jackass. I am shooting you in face. Come on, bro. You wanna dance? We will dance. It is you, Dalek. Loss of control. Malfunction. 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 Time to kick some ass. Engage in ass kicking procedure. Gotcha. Don't shoot at me. We got multiple hostiles in down. I am making a run for it now. Recovering. Recovering. Okay. Something is shooting at me. Making a run for it. System impaired. The human is an effective warrior and must be destroyed. Ah, oh, shut up. People shooting all over the place here. Come on, re recharge! I 
I'm getting the damage. Oh crap! I think I died. More drones. Okay. Yeah, we died, but we were here. Good. Get away from me! Oh crap! Stop doing that! I got no... I got no... no juice! No juice! We died again! I know Gladys, I know! Conserve ammo! Good. Conserve ammo. Dalek potato aim. Yes. One might say that. This thing is fast. I got it. Whew. Ooh. You jackass! There you go. I can sense the time crystal. We're almost there. I can sense a lot of jackasses around. Gotcha. Woo. The final crystal is in there. Love watching JC. Love it's a real blast. And get us out Hashtag here. punk. I'm trying, I'm trying. I think I did it. The power source. I disabled it. I already destroyed the things that were powering the the the, the thing. What, what more do you want me to shoot? Those things are destroyed. Oh. Yeah, I know. I know, now I notice. Oh crap! And let's do this. The, we, we got jackasses inbound. We need to disable. Crying, please. Nice. Here we are, people. Here we go. Shoot those power nodules. Leave the guys exposed. Ah, crap. One more. Got more Daleks over here. Those power nodules need to be disabled. It'll give us a brief window to destroy the dice. Yes. Sorry, though, they'll recharge after a few seconds. Easy. I'm dealing with the interlopers! Whew. Those things do a lot of damage. Come on, we're so close. Easy Gladys! Destroying the damn Daleks! Good. 
did it. Whoa. We got an achievement. Uh, Exterminate. It it. It's gone. Oh, man. I was starting to feel at home in there. What? There must yeah. be a way to activate this stone dais. Can we pick up this? Can I pick up that? Uh, oh, we're not we're not inside the Dalek casing anymore. Okay, so do we insert this over here? And do we insert that over there? Oh, look at this! Tardis. What? What's it doing here? I don't know. We've got to go in and see what's happening. Okay. Okay, I, I, I want to go in, but I cannot. Yes, interlopers! Okay, give me this. What the? What's going on? Uh, I don't know. The TARDIS has been destroyed. We're too late. She's wiped out reality. Uh. Okay. Apparently the destruction of the TARDIS has okay. wiped out reality? We're in the inner temple of the first. And here she is. Don't try anything rash. She's unbelievably powerful. Unbelievably hey. powerful. Hello, lady. You say it like it was a bad thing. She's going like this. Power in the right hands can be beautiful. And you don't have to worry about my omnipotence. Hey, Greg. After all, mother knows best. I only wanted what was best for my children. Okay. Would you hold that against me? Could oh, you hold that case the opportunity plan. for a the thumbnail arises. Is, I have the power to make my resolve become reality. I will give you a second chance. I will give all living creatures rebirth. And before that rebirth, I ask for only one thing. Your death. Universal annihilation in exchange for a brighter tomorrow. She's a little bananas. Wow. Talk about tough love. Yeah. I love you all. Good night. Good night. I'm going to need your help more than ever now because the universe is hanging by a thread. The reality virus has deleted the TARDIS interior and wiped out almost everything. But hey, I love a good almost. And right now, that almost says to me, you can still do this. You can fight it. You can come back. Okay. This time round, I found out very quickly that sometimes all it really needs is a leap of faith. in the land of the living are you the doctor filled me in turns out she didn't need the zyton but she did need you to visit all those places to collect the time crystals because she knew the first was watching her and by extension watching you mm -hmm. those locations were the last things in the first's memory and so they're virtually the last snatches of reality to be destroyed i've hidden three items one in each of three environments the doctor disguised the items but all of them has something unique about their physical appearance. A clue that suggests they're bound up with the first in some way. I'll explain later, but when they're placed together, they'll form a device powerful enough to deal with the first. I hope. Because the universe is so fractured, to reach a location that still exists, you just have to visualize it. That's what you've got to do now. I can't help you, because the voice you're hearing now is a simple psychic projection while I keep the first busy. Okay, that's weird. First, you must I'm remember back. the office from the London Laundrette. Okay, if you let your memories guide us to where we need to go now. 
Okay, I'm gonna use the memories. I'm losing you. Yes, I'm going to the thing. Okay, here we are. Emergency alert system. Can we move? Is there anything in there that looks familiar? Well, there's the emergency alert system over here. Anything that stands out? Any markings? Well, I don't know. When you see it, grab it. Okay, I will try to grab it when I see it. This, 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 no, this. Great. And our new connection is our optic connection is getting clearer. Start looking for the second piece. Okay. This, this, that over there. No, this, no, this, no, not that one over there. No, this, this, th it. this one. We need just one more piece, which means one more memory. I don't know what's going on here. What do you think you're doing? Are you trying? Trying to interfere with my plans? Yeah, sorry. Ignore her. Just find the third object and let's get out of here. This thing! No, this one! No, that one! This one! You did it! We've got the final piece of the device. Hey, Grassy! I'll pull you back to the temple so we can put the three pieces together. Yes, I needed the things and they got to me. I assembled the thing. Hello, how are you? The objects. They're here. But what do we do now? I don't know. You're too late. Don't you see that? No, we got these things. I'm redeeming my children. Giving you all a second chance. Why would you fight against that? Because I don't Happy want it. Happy Mother's Day. My lot. My people. They reckoned the first might make it here someday, so they created a device powerful and ingenious enough to send her back to her beginning. It was too dangerous to leave lying about. So like I the corners and like the seals, yes. It. I knew the first would be watching me, so I needed you to make sure those locations were amongst the last to exist, and that you could get back to them. That was crucial. You had to know them really well. I've appealed to the first to let us continue to live our lives. Offered her a truce. She refused. So now, now you have to send her back to the genesis of time using the device you've assembled. You've hardly any time left. I know what you've got to do. You've got to sonic the device. Oh, okay. But I don't have the sonic screwdriver. Oh, there, there we go. We got the sonic screwdriver. Device is being sonicked. And the first is being thrown back to the, you know, the start of, di of time or something like that. This is, this is Doctor Who. There's, there's a lot of mumbo jumbo, you know? Think of me kindly when I'm gone. Okay. When you see a sunset or flowers, remember my love for you. I only wanted what was best for my children. For you. This is like an emotional moment right now. Well, I don't want you to get too big for your boots, but guess what? What? I reckon you just saved the universe. Ah, yep. You're one of the doctor's chosen few now. We get an achievement. Yeah, I don't know. She was the, the source of all living creatures, you know? She was a little bit bananas. That's the problem. The first spin flung back to the beginning of time, but she's not dead. Good news. Without her, the virus ceased to exist and reality is snapping back into place. Right, let's get going. Always love this bit. Okay, good. Less good news. Because the first lives, she's effectively in a time loop. She'll try time and again to unleash the virus and wipe out all of sentient creation. She'll always return. That's why you've always got to be there to stop her. 
till I can come up with a long-term solution. What? Am I? Not gonna lie, getting some weird readings. Sorry, I misled you. I didn't I'm have a the time loop now. I let the first kidnap me, and I had to let her think I was done for. I figured she might intercept some messages, but knew she wouldn't be worried about you collecting Zyton. All the time, though, me, you, and Emma were working together. Thought you'd forgotten about me there. Would I do that? And Emma, I'm gonna download your consciousness into a synthetic Mama Jumble person Jelly so you can live your life and the cloister bell. Oh, I really must alter the sound setting on that thing, because that chiming, oh, it always scares me to death. I might change it to the teddy bear's picnic. Teddy bear's picnic. It's an old song, used to make my granddaughter laugh. Yes. Oh, well, it goes off on yeah, there's gone catastrophes awesome game. are imminent. Oh. Which is why I'm dropping you two off. We're back, but something's changed. Whether you know it or not, you were in a time loop. But it's been disrupted. The readings almost suggest it's been manipulated by the... <gasps> no! Couldn't be. What? You two better get out there and do your thing. But be careful. Okay. I'll find out what's causing the cloister bell to go off. Then I'll pop back and see you both okay. We want to come with you. If you're in trouble, we stick huh? together. I don't see Too anybody. Dangerous. I'm sorry. Too dangerous. I just faced off against the first being in all creation, saved the universe, and this is too dangerous. This is a big Tom Baker, uh, Doctor Who fan. Just hey. okay. okay, there's some shenanigans afoot. Yeah, this thing. We get the electricity back on. She can communicate with us like that again. Maybe. Right. In other news, I managed to take some readings from the TARDIS before it vanished. Looks like the reality virus hasn't been wiped out. A version of it's still at play, and it's stronger than ever. Oh, look at that. The doctor seemingly avoided the thing, but in the, in the end, it did not avoid the thing. I don't know. Oh, Days Gone is good. It's a good game, you know. It's a good game. Hang on, with a little bit of jiggery pokery, I should be able to. Yeah. Ah, there we go. I'm on the telly. Hello. Oh, we got another doctor right. now. Where was I? I'm the doctor. Just probably not the one you were expecting. No, I'm sorry. You're the doctor. Yes. Oh yes. You don't sound anything like the doctor. Well, I must do a bit. We have another doctor now. In fact, I read her. Oh. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait to see River's face. She'll be in seventh. Sorry, sorry. Easily distracted. Did our doctor send you here? A, nobody sends me anywhere. Two, I'm here because of the time glitches sending everything all timey, wimey, lemon and limey. And, small eye, small eye, small eye, a friend of mine gave me a tip off about a million years from now. Or was it last week? Anyway, point is... I need your help. We'd love to muck in, Doctor, but we're trying to work out where our Doctor is. You like all the Doctors. It's a little matter of us nice. to save reality. Sounds fun. Well, I say fun. I'm guessing it's slightly stressful. Well, mm, I say slightly. Doctor! Uh, uh, that easily distracted thing? Yeah, happening again. Do you know where she is? No, but I know what's waiting for you out there. How do you know what's going on when you're from the past? Like I said, you get a bill from them, yeah. A friend from the future. This is your favorite doctor? You nice. Know. Can't reveal too much, otherwise I'll break the Blinovich paradox and I could destabilize the universe. Again. Right. I'm not sure I follow you. No, I believe there's well, just well, two doctors it's a in this way of saying I can't give you too many spoilers. But the thing you know as the reality virus has been modified by some old friends of mine. Who's in control of it now? The Cybermen. So the time oh, Cybermen causes are going to get more extreme. In your reality, where you are right now, the Cybermen have already conquered Earth. That's done. Nothing can change that. You've got to find out what their next move is, because it's going to be big. And you're going to have to stop it. How can we stop this? Not going to lie, it's a big ask. But somewhere out there in the junkyard, there's the head of a decapitated Cyberman. Find it. Any reason? Or shouldn't I ask? It should reveal what the Cybermen are planning. Then you have to find the Doctor and... And that's it. That's all I can tell you. Sorry. Sorry. You're on your own from this point. 
You can't just leave us. Mm, uh, well, you kind of can, kind of have to. But if it's any consolation, I have a funny feeling we'll meet again. Look, yes. right now, I've got planets to save. And you've got to stop the universe conking out. So what are we all waiting for? Allons-y! Allons-y! Try it on the door now. What is this? I think I think we got Cybermen over here. Yeah, there might be Cybermen. Oh crap! The Cyber Reaper over here. Weird. But what? Okay. Another time jump, another, you know, banana situation. There's a Cyberman over here. Look at this. Hey, bro. This is the age of skill. Maximum upgrade road elements detected. Oh, crap. <laughs> Cyberman killed us. Okay. So, yeah, this is a save point. Cybermen are very dangerous. They are indeed Greg, they are indeed. But you know what? We've been streaming for an hour and a half, kind of tired, so we're going to relax. And I'm guessing we're going to finish this game this Saturday. So let me just go over here. Okay. So yeah, that was Doctor Who. The Edge of Reality, episode 2. And I'm guessing we have one more episode for this Saturday. You will put the pictures on the Discord of when you make uh, you, you meet uh, David, um, the other doctor, you know, the, uh, the one... I think it was like the last one before... before the current one? I don't know. Looks like Iron Man and Ultra had a love child, maybe. Okay, yeah, so... I'm going to leave this stream here. Remember, this counts as tomorrow's videos. And on Friday, more shenanigans. David Tennant, yes. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, this stream. That's it for now. And uh, see you next time. Sorry. There we go.